a little bit of a mural for myself and Anthony from one of our well-known works, Push. That's me. When I was thin. <laughs> Some people understand math, some people understand music, some people understand movement. That's my gift. I'm lucky to have had that. And I'm lucky to have those people in my life to bring that out of me. So welcome to Chameleon Studios. My name's Kevin Edward Turner, and I'm one of the co-founders and co-artistic directors of company Chameleon. There's a lot of love in this building, so come and have a little look. We started off as myself and Anthony, somebody I've known since I've been like 10 years old, being in a youth theatre, which was a kind of free programme which we could be involved in, and having a dream of a little kid going, oh yeah, you know, we'll grow up, we'll be professional dancers, we'll tour around the world, we'll come back to Manchester, set up our own thing, and then we'll do it with that. It actually happened. So Company Community is a dance company based in Manchester. We've been operating for around about 16 years now. Saying it, it sounds really odd. <laughs> this is my set from my latest outdoor work. So that's not just a bit of old scaffolding? No, no, this is the set. This is actually a set. They dance on this, they lift people up on it. When it's outdoors, anything can happen. And as a performer, it's great. Welcome to the main space here at Chameleon. We called it Studio One. So this is, as you can see, a fairly big space. It's really rare to have spaces like this in Manchester. As you can see, these huge high ceilings, Edwardian height, and we got a, we got a capital bid off the Arts Council. We're really fortunate for that, so we were able to get some lights and a seating bank that has 110 seats, so we can do performances in here. It's not a theatre. We're not set up for a theatre, but hopefully we'll be moving in that direction soon. But yeah, this is, this, is the, this is the space. And we're hoping to use this and create the space as a dance hub for the city region. And uh, not only to support our local community in terms of offering lots of different ways in which they can engage and be creative and physical, but also trying to create those platforms and opportunities and artistic development opportunities for other artists within the city region. It used to be a old infant school, actually. So this is the sports hall and all the, all the spaces at the side used to be the classes that the classes used to happen in. When we're not here, there's always someone in here. The space is always full, basically. We have a few different strands to our operations. So the first strand is about making high quality dance theatre for theatres that tours both nationally and internationally. Another strand would be making work for outdoor public spaces. We make dance films, we make creations for site specific, some conventional spaces too. We have a whole learning and participation strand as well where we go into work with young people. Dancing did help me. It did help me in my recovery back to being healthy. I have a serious mental health condition and I have been sectioned twice and I've been in a psychiatric hospital twice and um, I did not think that I would ever be able to come back to what it is that I'm doing right now. In the first three, two, three years of Chameleon, I, I suffered from burnout. We were working seven days a week. We, we, when we're not in the studio, we were teaching or doing something in order to earn income. Uh, when I was inside hospital, I had two uh, creative artistic workshops. One was drumming and one was uh, like a visual art drawing class. That was the only time when I was in Sahara Hospital that I actually felt connected, engaged, somewhat myself. So when I left hospital, um, I had two ambitions. One was to make a piece about not only my experience of this crisis, but also my loved ones, because more importantly, the people that surround the person in crisis, their story often is not spoken about. And to be honest, it's just as difficult for them as it is for the person who's suffering. So I wanted to make a piece about it, which luckily I did, and I've toured that nationally and internationally. A 
It's been a massive help for me. Um, I see it in the work that I do, that it helps others. Not everybody has the capacity or talent to articulate themselves through words. Sometimes things cannot be expressed through words. So I really feel that movement, dance, is a really powerful vessel for healing and for expression. I feel like Annika Rice or something, man. What was it, through the keyhole? David Frost, who lives in an house like this. And this, in this space, we have an incredible choreographer called Douglas Thorpe, who is part of our Uplift Commission series. And that increase in funding is basically all designated towards artist development. And as part of this artist development programme, we've launched three commissions. One of those commissions is in this room right now with the company dancers. Just uh... So these guys are kind of rehearsing and warming up and stuff like that. Do you know what I love? I don't even, I've got nothing to do with this. And I don't love that. I always take great pride when I read testimonials or quotes or things that we get from the different people that we engage with or organizations. And I have to be honest with you, it's always positive. And that makes me really proud. Because then I feel that as an organization, what we're putting out there is, is something that's positive, yeah? And that's what it has to be. Even if the work that we make might go to dark or macabre places at times, overall, how we stride out into the world is about being kind, it's about being compassionate, it's about sharing, it's about support, it's about nurture, uh, and yeah about quality as well.